And I'm Louie. And I'm Shandon. And, and this and is Rice Stop. Stop. Hey Rice family, welcome back to our channel. Uh, so today we're going to do something a bit different. To, we're going to react to 14 reasons the Philippines is different from the rest of the world. Yes. Uh, and the reason we're doing this... <laughs> no reaction channel. And this is well, one of the reasons why we're doing this also is that Gabe Chan and I, we've been talking quite a bit about maybe one day we should visit the, the Philippines, right? And mm -hmm. Gabe's going to show us around. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a nice touch for Shannon and I to kind of see what the country has to offer. Yeah. And why it's so different from the rest of the world. I so. know it's beautiful and, uh, you know, I've seen videos and photos of the Philippines. So this will help us even more to kind of get to know the country. I know a lot of our viewers are from the Philippines. So we wanted to kind of show some love for you guys. Um, one thing I will say, if you guys don't know, um, all the countries we're from, so we're currently living in Canada, we're Canadian citizens, but our home countries, I'm from Nepal, Louis is from Vietnam, and Gabe is from the Philippines, right? From Quezon province? Yes. There we go. So, yeah guys, um, before we start, I just want to point out that we're on the platform Patreon. Link in the description. There's a lot of fun videos if you guys want to check out some extra stuff we don't post on YouTube. And then the other thing is, I just want to pass it to Gabe. Do you want to talk about our featured comment? Yes. Yeah, so our right hand featured comment for this video is right here. <laughs> so thank you guys for sending that wonderful compliment towards us um, to that viewer, subscriber, or patron. Um, we're really grateful, especially in times like these. Um, we try to contribute to you, to your guys' liking as much as possible through your requests and um, comments. So we, you guys are able to put a smile on our faces by commenting and we'll reciprocate that by making you guys more fun videos. So yeah, thank you. We're really grateful for you guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so you guys got it loaded up. You good to go? Yep. It's all good to all go. Right, so why don't you count us down? Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. I like this song. Right wow. Now. What if I told you there is a country where over 175 languages are spoken, people text more than anywhere else in the world, and boxing fights directly influence crime rates? It sounds pretty much unbelievable, but it's all true in the Philippines. 14. There are more than 175 spoken languages. There are two official languages in the Philippines, Filipino, based on Tagalog, and English. Filipino is the most commonly spoken yes. in pop culture language, and the government of the country uses English in their work. By the way, the Philippines are number five on the list of the world's top English-speaking populations after U.S., India, Pakistan, and the agree. U.K. All this sounds pretty plain and ordinary, but in fact, the That's diverse good. linguistic groups living in the country use over 175 languages for their internal communication. Since many of them exist only in spoken form, it's impossible to calculate the exact amount 13. Wow. Their capital is the most densely populated city in the world. The nation's capital, Manila, and its 16 surrounding cities that make up the Metro Manila area have a population of 12.8 million people. During the daytime, this number gets way mm -hmm. higher since many people come here to work. And while the number doesn't sound that crazy, take note that all these people it's live beautiful. in an area of 16.56 so eh? square miles. Yeah. This wow. makes the population density equal to 111,002 people per square mile. And that's five times higher than in Mumbai wow. or Paris, for example. 12. No way. They have churches that's and crazy. shopping malls. Shopping malls aren't no really idea. a place where you buy what? stuff for Filipinos. They are safe, air-conditioned community hey, hubs with gyms, health I'm clinics, Catholic, so halls, I guess I go parks, shopping by going to the church, churches yeah. inside. So it's no surprise that they are the favorite place to meet up with friends for so many The main religion is, ca is Catholic, Catholicism? Is that right? Okay. In the Philippines. They are Mega Fashion Mall of SM Mega Mall, SM City North EDSA, hmm. and SM Mall of Asia. 11. 
Filipinos are the number one texting nation in the world. You already know Filipinos love meeting up with friends at shopping malls, and when they can't see each other in person, they text. And when they do it, they rarely limit it to, hey, how are you? In fact, they send about 400 million texts a day. And that's around 142 wow. billion texts a year. It's more than the U.S. and Europe wow. put together. What? Not exactly a little number for what? a country of 107 what? million people. 10. They have Dude, a unique just, form of transportation. Crazy. If you visit Manila, you'll notice some interesting looking vehicles called jeepneys. They are converted <laughs> U.S. Army jeeps that stayed in the country after jeepneys? World War II. Filipinos yeah, adopted them to unique. transport up to 18 yeah. passengers who jump it's on the like a, going in their direction and like the a, bell for it to stop. A party there bus. Are about 50,000 yeah, jeepneys in Manila. So and they all look different. Colorful. With basketball stars, cartoon characters, inspirational quotes, neon There's lights, no and whatnot the on them. Yeah. There are two major problems. Yo, you know, even top safety it. concerns on top and pollution. The yeah. They produce huge Those amounts of black smoke. Yep. So hurry up if you uh -oh. want to ride before they get replaced with a rapid transit system. Oh. Nine. One of the islands has more volcanoes than towns. The Philippines are, without a hmm. doubt, a super scenic location. Among all the islands that are a part of it, Camigan sure stands out, with more volcanoes per square mile than any other Camigan. island on the planet. The island is 14 miles long and 8.5 miles wide, and has seven volcanoes and five towns. And even though earthquakes wow. and eruptions shaped it, volcanoes so have been deep right? asleep Five since thousand? the 50s, so thousands of yeah. tourists can safely visit the island these days. 8. Their national flag yeah. has a secret meaning. The national flag of the Philippines has oh. two bands you know, of blue and, you know this game? and a white triangle at the hoist with a yellow sun and eight rays, yeah. each of them standing for one province of the country. The yellow stars stand for the three mm. largest island groups, Luzon, Visayas, wow. and Mindanao. What makes the flag really unique is that it can be reversed to declare a state of war. This happened during the Filipino Revolutionary War of 1890-1901 and during World War II in 1941-1945. 7. Boxing directly affects crime rates in the country. Filipinos love boxing and are crazy about their most yeah, famous boxer, Manny Pacquiao. Whenever he fights, the whole dude. country is glued to its I TV sets. Manny, and according to the Philippine fighter. National Police, PNP, this, crime this rates he still in the fight? country drop significantly when he's in the ring. Uh, During his 12-round so fight against American does, yeah, boxer yeah, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Yeah, that went from yeah. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., not a single crime was committed in the whole Manila metropolitan area. It was wow. basically the same during other major fights with the participation of the people's champ, Manny Pacquiao. Six, mm. a lot of Filipinos work abroad. It might be because of their flexible and reliable no, it's so true. or the fact that they speak great English as a second language, but more than 11 million Filipinos That's very work true. abroad. It's around 11% of the population, and a quarter of all overseas nurses in the world come from the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> Their rice terraces are the oldest in nurses, the, man. the world. But now, a rice terraces are the oldest in the world, and we're so, oh, so beautiful that, that they still oh, have the rice and vegetables, really most of which get exported. And it is believed if all the terraces had been built so into it, eh? they would like stretch layers halfway layers of them, around like the world. Today, these places bring the country more money as a tourist wow. destination wow. than rice plantations, and yeah, thus they huge. play an important role for the economy the of view, the Philippines. Four. They produce a lot of coconuts. For years, the Philippines had been the number one producer of coconuts in the world. And even though the leadership now belongs to Indonesia, 153,532,000 tons per year is still an impressive number, wow. isn't it? These coconuts are used to make anything from clothing to beauty products. Three, the first European to visit the Philippines was Ferdinand Magellan. The legendary explorer made the first record of the archipelago among the Europeans in 1521. He founded the first settlement in Cebu, and thus most of the area became a Spanish colony. This explains the fact that around Cebu is really nice of the too, population are Christian, unlike most of the country's neighbors. In 1898, the Philippines went under U.S. rule, and later, in 1946, became an independent republic. 2. A Filipino made the first karaoke machine. If you love to sing okay. along, yes. you yes. Yes. Filipinos that's very true. Time, <laughs> the first karaoke machine in the world was created in 1975 by Roberto Del Rosario. 
he patented as the sing-along system, and even though there were some attempts to claim his creation, he still remains the only patent holder for the karaoke system. One, the population is extremely oh, good looking. Along with their love for boxing, texting, and shopping, Filipinos are crazy about beauty pageants. It might be the years of American rule hmm. that gave them this love for competitive beauty, but the fact remains a fact. They have won know. in all the major international pageants <laughs> 14 times. There were four crowned Miss Universe, one Miss Damn. World, six title holders of Miss International, and four Miss Earth crowns. The first official pageant was held Ooh, within yeah, the country in 1908, amazing. and since 2001, it's not just about beauty, but also for the promotion of environmental protection. Would you like to visit the Philippines? Or maybe you've already been there? Let me know in the comment section yes, below. Please. Don't yes. forget to give this video a like, share it with I'll your friends, you and there. click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life. Bright yeah. side of life. There's definitely a lot of things to talk about. Wow. So, yeah, there, there's so many things, yeah. Even from coconuts to jeepneys. Um, yeah, so... Where do you guys want to start? <laughs> I, I can talk about it like list by list. You know what? I mean? Anything you guys are curious about, then I'll expand on. I didn't, I didn't know that people texted that much, right? I was amazed. I didn't and, know. Mm -hmm. So with that, with the texting, I think it correlates to Filipinos um, being really social people, and people, um, and I can imagine it also correlates to having a lot of Filipinos being overseas, right? So I know I myself have families in the Philippines and I'm involved in multiple family group chats, right? Mm -hmm. And so they have that. And then we, we basically have other family friends, um, Filipino family members living in other um, sides of the world, right? So you can imagine how many people you can, you can always um, talk to. Like That's back good. when I was in yeah, like back in when I was in the Philippines, my dad was an overseas work, worker, right? And so we would talk to him every day, and so on, and so, and we we even like even if your family is in a different province, you would talk to them every day as well, right? Mm. Like my gr my grandma, for instance, has like six to ten people. Maybe this is just an exaggeration but she has more than at least two people she's texting every day including me <laughs> okay mm, yeah yeah i got I, like being connected. Wow. I have yeah. i have three questions for you yeah <laughs> first when is the best time to go best time to go oh uh, you can not right now <laughs> not right now yeah when when this is all over when is the best time to go like the best weather, you know, it too, think, you don't be too hot or when it's too cold or too cool. March When's the best time to go? And April, I think. Let us know in the comments below. Like, yeah, Gabe is answering our questions, but we'd love to hear your replies mm. as well. Yeah, That's so, right? I mean, usually we go during the summertime, right? Which is, isn't that why in August? Right? Okay. Or oh, Christmas, Vi is okay. Well, Vietnam is a bit different. We don't want to go in that time because it's too hot. People tend to go yeah, in yeah, December, yeah, yeah. but I'm just yeah, curious about some... the Philippines. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's, okay. it's different for sure. Like, um, I would say if you want, if you're coming in from Canada, which is, uh, and you don't want it to be too hot, maybe you can go during Christmas and um, December, January. Uh, I've been there a couple of times already coming back in December, January. Mm. It feels really cool. So it wouldn't be too hot. But it's enough to like enjoy the sun. I really wanted. I wanted to. I didn't know that Manila had all those huge malls. I was really shocked, and I didn't know they were so densely populated. Right? That's amazing. Like the most densely populated place on like business days, which is crazy. So I know, it's, I'm curious to go to those malls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the um, Mall of Asia, for instance. I think that's the only one I've um, visited out of the three. They have multiple buildings. It's not just like you know how malls are usually in one building with multiple stores. Mall of Asia has multiple buildings wow. um, around it, and yeah, it's huge. I've been there two, three times already. 
they have mm-hmm. one of the biggest IMAX theaters. Mm-hmm. All these things. I, I was already excited to go because the island and all mm-hmm. those things. But this yeah, we have, they haven't touched on that in the video, but yeah. I've seen like vlogs, I've seen some YouTube vlogs where people travel to the Philippines and do, taking like, it's just amazing. So I can't wait to, you know, yeah. it's over. It would be so good if me gave them mm. to visit the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can meet up with some of you. We would love that, right? We would love to have mm. like a up by then our yeah. channel will grow even more. So we just yeah. want to thank you guys so much for recommending this video. Let us know what else you want to see down below. And um, until next time, guys, peace. Peace.